Good evening. Tonight we're going to take the two major religions and we're going to compare the differences of the rewards you will receive in heaven with these two religions. Now I do know less about the Muslim heaven, so this is going to be a little bit lopsided. First we're going to talk about the Muslim heaven. Now, I'm not going to even go into the subject of the 72 virgins waiting for each male Muslim uh, because I really doubt that that's what drives them to commit suicide anyway. Now, there's something else that's forbidden on earth for male Muslims but allowed in heaven. Green silk clothing. I really think this is the draw. Green silk clothing with embroidery for each male Muslim in heaven. And you do realize, of course, that the Muslims and Christians already have something in common. Forbidden fibers on earth. You just don't realize how much both religions have in common. Now, in the Muslim heaven, there will be rivers of milk and honey. A river of milk, whole, of course, because it's rich and holy. Now, heaven is in space, so I really thought it was more logical that they would be rivers of tang, but no, they're rivers of milk and rivers of honey. Now, this river of honey, it would have to be a really slow-moving river, and I can't imagine that they'd have any fish in heaven. It would be just, like, stuck in the, in the honey. But, of course, you know, God wouldn't want any of his creatures to be abused, so I'm sure that's why there aren't any fish in heaven. You know, this milk and honey thing can't be exclusive, though, to the Muslim religion because I remember from my youth singing this milk and honey, milk and honey, milk and honey, milk and honey. Some kind of a Christian song. I'm, I'm just so surprised I remember the words after all these years. Now, for the Christian heaven, let's, let's talk about the Christian heaven. There's a river of the water of life which flows from God's throne. I guess he didn't get up to go to the other throne. Hmm. Pay me a river. Uh, anyway, um, the, the believers, oh, this is another really cool thing. The believers will have God's name written on their foreheads. I guess that's the way that God will be able to see God. Now, one thing that I think is a little rub it in your face of God is that the Christian Heaven has roads paved with gold. You know, it's God tells Christians their whole lives to do without, you know, do without any riches, give away your things. You, you should, you know, they make it seem like it's sinful to have earthly belongings. And yet, as a reward in heaven, there's gold. Uh, just roads of gold and gold thrones and lots of gold things. So I'm sure the Christians are really, really looking forward to it. But why? You can't buy anything in heaven, so gold essentially is worthless. I guess that's why God made everything out of real gold up in heaven and not pyrite. Although fool's gold might have been more appropriate. Now this is an interesting one too. There are 12 gates up in heaven. You know, we're, we're familiar with the one that St. Peter is standing there guarding that I guess we go through when we get to heaven. But, but 12 gates, why? What are the other 11 for? It's not like you'd have to exit heaven to get a breath of fresh air. I, I'm not sure what they... The only thing I can figure is, you know, heaven, I picture it like a big, huge cloud where everybody's standing on the cloud. And then the gates could all be at the edge of the cloud. And um, so if you exited the gates, there would be just air. There wouldn't be clouds on the other side. So there would be gravity and you'd fall to your death. So I really think these are suicide gates. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm picturing people just running and pushing open the gate and falling to their deaths. And I think that this is um, reserved for Friday nights when God entertains his people with Christian rock bands. Now, the best part of heaven for both Muslims and Christians, I'm pretty certain, is the fact that it's a reward for you. You no longer have to help people. You no longer have to help animals or pick a career or make mistakes or learn from your mistakes. 
nothing like that. And you don't have to work to save the earth for, from destruction because God will have destroyed the earth for you. So heaven is all about God and all about you.